I believe this is the most important uh, summit that President Trump's going to have in his presidency. And that's because the U.S. China relationship is, is so critical and it's getting more and more important each day. It really, in many ways, determines uh, policy worldwide how the United States and China get together. So the challenges are great. Regrettably, I've, I've attended a lot of these summits. So President Obama, President Xi, I can tell you they're, they're very formal, they're very scripted. Each gives a little bit of a statement. Neither asks the question of the other. And to make it even more difficult is through um, an interpreter, which tends to make the reality a little less real. Mm. And so it's very difficult, very scripted. Now, they'll each will state its positions. The United States clearly will try to encourage China to do much more in North Korea. But we've been trying for a long time without a lot of success, frankly. On the other hand, we're getting closer to a moment of truth in North Korea. The problem is getting more dire each day. And I, I, and I know, because uh, I've heard President Xi say a couple, three times how much he uh, very much disrespects Kim Jong-un. So there might be an opportunity for President Trump to say to President Xi, hey, we got a problem here. Um, it's not getting any better. It's getting a lot worse. So let's, let's start talking about how we um, figure out a way to handle this fella in a way that makes the world safe. Um, right. That I think is an attempt we have to make. Uh, but unfortunately, we have to try. we've already seen we've already seen so many of these efforts fail, and, and so many of the pressures from the UN uh, uh, sanctions that have been le levied against right. them from what China has already yeah. done to this point. Right. And uh, they have oil left as the last thing that they can really yank. But <clears throat> if they pull that and, and and there is no success, what <clears throat> what what then? Well, I don't think I, uh, Kim Jong Un will do anything to keep power. He'll do anything to keep his nukes and his missiles uh, unless there, some deal is worked out, some way where he can save face in, in, in North Korea. And it, it's, it's very difficult, but China has to be part of the solution. The United States cannot do this alone, even preemptively or uh, with military or whatnot. It just won't work. We have to find a way, and China is the big, as I said, it's a big partner here. We have to just try, and we have to up the ante with China, too, in a very uh, 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 solid way, in a very respectful way, because China wants a solution, too. But China does not want the peninsula to be chaotic. It, it want, does not want the peninsula to be unstable. They, China loves the stability in the, in the peninsula, and that's the main reason they have not done more. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.